Babe of the day. Babe of the day. Catherine Bach. She'll always be known as Daisy Duke from the Dukes of Hazard. If an actress has to be typecast, this is not a bad role to be typecast with. Daisy is a great character. She's gorgeous and a positive role model for any female. Since the character's debut, extremely short jean shorts have been referred to as Daisy Dukes. Daisy Dukes shorts will always be hot and will never go away. Now, I've always been a fan of Katherine Bach. I've been a fan of her my whole life. But until I actually started doing research for this Babe of the Day video, I had no idea that she did so many different publicity pictures and where she wasn't dressed as Daisy Duke. You know, that's her main character. Everybody knows her as Daisy Duke. You know, it's not a bad thing to be attached to, but she did a lot of other uh, movies and TV shows too and did various appearances. And she had so many different outfits and so many different looks and she looked good in every one of them. She really did. I mean, of course, you know, she looked good in jean shorts or whatever. And then, of course, the famous, you know, Daisy Duke posters with where she's wearing the bikini and everything. But she could dress up as sophisticated ladies or anything. And she really, she could really pull it off. I mean, she just really looked good at that. You know, she's a likable actress. Daisy Duke was just a very good character. I think, it, you know, kind of maybe lame or cheesy to say it. But, you know, she was a good role model for girls. And she really was. Besides the fact that they obviously, on uh, you know, purposely tried to sex her up for the Dukes of Hazard and everything with the short shorts and the cleavage and everything else like that. But besides that, just as far as, you know, how she acted as a character, you know, Daisy Duke, it really was a good role model for girls. She had her, you know, own car, you know, first, you know, the Plymouth, you know, satellite, and then she had, more famously, the Daisy Duke Jeep. You know, that became a very hip thing for girls, the Daisy Duke Jeep. But boys like the Jeep, too. It's just a cool thing. Here she is again. Just Like I said, these different dresses that she wears, you know. And, and you wouldn't see her wearing these on the Dukes of Hazard show, you know, them dresses. But maybe we should have, because... <laughs> she looked really good. You know, that show was on for quite a while. And the mere fact you know, that she kept herself in condition, you know, all that time for as long as she did. She worked out quite a bit. I mean, she did a lot to keep herself in shape at the time. And what I found really interesting is that you see more pictures of her posing with the General Lee than you do of her own Daisy Duke Jeep, you know, and the Daisy Duke Jeep, that was a popular thing. There's toys of it. I mean, you always saw her with the Jeep in the show, but when it comes to publicity pictures, more often than not, you see her pose with the General Lee. She really is the definitive Daisy Duke, too. It says they've had other actresses play her, and it says, and I'm not saying that those actresses were bad, but it says, eh, they're not capturing, you know, Daisy Duke as she should be. I think she really did it. But then again, that's true of anybody on the Dukes of Hazard show. James Brolin's with her in the boat. There's a picture of her with the Daisy Duke Jeep. The Dixie. That's kind of a cute name and everything. Oh, some more short shorts. Not jean shorts. Yeah, she looked good in these kind of outfits. This Jungle Girl outfit. Oh, man, the Circus of the Stars outfit is... Wow, that's really something. She could have played a jungle girl in a movie. Her in a maid outfit. This is kind of funny where she's uh, carrying the bag of money on a stick over. <laughs> Thank you.
this long legs. I mean, she's famous for legs, you know, for good reason. Moonshine jug. Better not see. Let Roscoe see you with that. Because <laughs> the Duke boys will get in trouble for it for some reason. <laughs> it didn't take much for the Duke boys to get in trouble. Some support is her all wet. <laughs> The great thing about, you know, pictures of the older actors is anything, you know, pretty much before the 90s or whatever is that women were just a little bit, I don't they were just a little bit more fun. They weren't so afraid to show themselves off, you know. And nowadays, it just seems like most actresses are pretty stodgy. You know, they wouldn't do photos like this. Oh, there's her car. I always thought that car was really cool in the earlier seasons of the Dukes of Hazzard. Oh, her famous bikini. That right there, I think that made her from the start as soon as she did that. She looked good in red. She looked good in a lot of colors. She even looked good with different hairstyles like this. The bigger hair. Here's a George Burns. She was on a George Burns special and she did a little um, cheerleading routine on there. It says that was something else. The famous Daisy Duke short shorts. You know, a lot of people, they know what the Daisy Dukes are. If you say, you just, they just know what it is. But a lot of times I'm afraid that, you know, people are getting too young now to know this. And they may not know that it was a character that's a TV character. They just know the term from somewhere. It happens. It's not the first time that something like that has happened. But that's kind of something when you can have a legacy that outlives yourself. You know, <laughs> A legacy that's bigger than you are. That's really something when you can make that kind of contribution to culture. Roller skates. I will say I, I don't really recall her wearing roller skates on the Dukes of Hazard show. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not remembering that. The Santa girl outfit. Any hot girl in a Santa Claus outfit for some reason is just a turn on. I... Oh, her taking a shower. There's just a lot of these poses that you just don't see the more current actresses do when they take pictures. This is kind of an interesting outfit right here. I don't know quite what you would call that little all body stripey outfit. She wasn't afraid to be provocative, you know, in some of these pictures, but just the same, you know, she didn't really that wasn't her thing. I don't think that she ever aimed to be one of those actresses that would just do anything to get a movie role. Like she, she had some standards. Yeah, Daisy Duke was a good character for her to be attached to. It still is. People have this stigma against you know being typecast or whatever. And Alan Young, who played uh, Wilbur Post on Mr. Ed. He actually said that you know, he says he never really understood the problem of being typecast because you're always known for something. And you always have something that you can go back to. Because she's done a number of Dukes of Hazzard reunions, conventions, and everything. You always have a memorable character that people like, and they can always come back to that. I agree with that. It says I don't think there's anything wrong with being typecast at all, really. Just as long as you can still make a living off of it. Another good looking dress that she wore. These are all really good outfits. I wish that we could have seen more of them in the Dukes of Hazard show. But she certainly did take a lot of photos. This is another good look for her. A very 1980s look. 
kind of amazing how these 1980s looks still look good today. <laughs> it's not a product of its time. I mean, you know, you could get a girl now to wear these clothes and it would look just as interesting as it ever did. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's meant to be nothing but a touching tribute to Catherine Bach. Uh, any Dukes of Hazard fan, I hope, just really enjoys this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And have a great day.